Hello everyone, Apple Buff here. Welcome back to the channel and in this video, I'm going to tell you about an app that will make using WhatsApp on your Apple Watch possible. So without a further ado, let's roll the video. Since we all know that it's been 3 years and Facebook's WhatsApp has failed to make its way to the Apple Watch as a standalone app. But now, we have an app that will solve the problem of WhatsApp not being available on the Apple Watch. So the name of the app is WhatChat 2. That basically is WhatsApp for Apple Watch. It's a free app that's up on the App Store for you to download and but of course the link to the app is in the description so don't forget to check that out. Before I begin with today's video, I would like to mention the fact that I am hosting a giveaway whereby I would be giving away 5 lifetime access codes for the WhatChat app that will help you access the pro features within the app for which all you have to do is number 1 like and comment down below the video saying what are your thoughts regarding the video plus also leave your Instagram ID so that I can reach out to you if you are the chosen one. Number 2 Follow me on Instagram as the results of the giveaway will be announced in my Instagram story. And last but not the least, enjoy the video and best of luck. Getting back to the app, the Apple Watch users can start using WhatsApp on their respective Apple Watch by doing just 4 simple and easy steps. Number 1. Open WhatChat app on your Apple Watch. Number 2. Open WhatsApp on your iPhone. Number 3. In WhatsApp, go to settings, select WhatsApp web slash desktop. Just scan the QR code that will appear on the Apple Watch. That's it. Once the QR code has successfully been scanned, all the WhatsApp chats that you can see on your iPhone will appear on your Apple Watch. So if you click on any of these chats, you can pretty much see as well as read all the previous as well as recent messages, including those that were sent in group chats. Apart from being able to access all of your WhatsApp chats, with the help of this app, you can click and view videos that were a part of the conversation. The same goes for the photos too. You can make use of the digital prompt to zoom in and zoom out a picture. When it comes to audio or say voice messages, this app can even help you listen to them, which is pretty awesome. Just click the audio message and you're it. That's it. What's up? How's it going? When it comes to sending a reply or composing a new message, this app comes with quite a few options to choose from. The first being the ability of the user to select between stock Apple keyboard and WatchChat keyboard. And if you want, then you can even add the flick type keyboard to enhance your typing experience. Along with the keyboard selection options, you can even send a voice message by just clicking on the mic button. Once recorded the audio, just hit green to send it. And for giving replies, you can even have the option for sending a smart reply too. So as to save the battery from draining, a max of 10 chats are being visible in the Apple Watch app. But if you wish to access all the chats, just scroll down, click on contacts and the list of contacts will appear. Just hit the contact with whom you would like to chat. With the main features of the app hitting hard, there are even certain features like being able to see your friend's status right from your Apple Watch. That is also now possible with this app. So overall, although WhatChat 2 is a third party app, but to be honest, it's the app that we as Apple Watch users need. So with that being said, this is Apple Buff signing off. Catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.